hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for always showing up your support is highly appreciated i want to ask all of you a question when facing difficult times what is your typical response to them please write your answer down below because that is what we are discussing today i'm going to give you five seconds to write your answer five four three two one well, thank you for your response. Perhaps we ask anyone if they have any ongoing issues or concern in their lives. I'm sure each person would mention at least one thing. These troubles could range in durations, types, and cause different emotions. However, that does not mean that these same individuals would admit to going through difficult times because we all have something going on in our lives that we do not like for instance you might have a report that is due for work and you have not yet completed it this is something that might worry you this is something that might cause concern to you but that does not mean that you are going through difficult times so what constitutes difficult times and how should we deal with them Difficult times is when one lies down but their mind is running with thoughts or while performing simple tasks, one finds their heart racing because they are worried or nervous because of a difficult event. Simply put, as soon as a moment ignites significant negative emotions that change your attitude or behavior for days on end, regardless of what you are doing, that is when you know that you are going through difficult times. Difficult times could be in a variety of ways, could come in a variety of ways. Maybe you have a sick family member that is in the hospital. Maybe you have gone bankrupt. Maybe you have incurred so many debts and the debt collectors are asking for back for their money. So those could be difficult moments that cause you to have sleepless nights. However, just like there are so many ways to find yourself in difficult times, there are just as many ways to deal with them. I promise. First, admit and accept the emotional discomfort caused by the difficult event or the difficult time. If not, this pain will be expressed in more negative ways such as neglecting the situation altogether, denying that there is an issue or even worse, drugs and alcohol usage. If you don't accept that you are going through difficult times, you might start drinking yourself to sleep. You might start as a habit of drinking so that you forget that you have problems. That is not good. You have to accept that you have something going on. You have to accept that you have a problem so that you can look for ways to deal with the problem. So admit and accept that you have a problem and look for ways to solve it. I believe that it is also key to know that not every situation is permanent in this life. And if a situation is permanent, understand that the emotions caused by this event will not simmer as they once did. What does this mean? This means that, for instance, if you have lost a family member, this is a difficult event for you. This is a very difficult time for you. That is a permanent thing that has happened to you. That means that today you'll be in anguish, you'll be in pain, you will suffer a lot emotionally and even mentally. But three months down the line, one year down the line, two years down the line, you will not have the same emotions. You will not have the same feelings. You will calm down. So the emotions caused will not simmer as they once did. Now, this next part is one that requires some action. It is time to start brainstorming. Don't settle for the negative emotion nor the difficult time you're in. You can win over the situation that is why it was so important 
to accept the negative feeling because now we are placing all of our attention on the problem so that we can think of things that can be done to solve it be realistic about your capabilities and efforts to be that can be provided to the solution the most important thing here is not to select the correct choice but rather take an action then revise it if needed what does it this mean this means that you should not wait to find the right answer to your problem you should not wait oh i'm looking for the right answer i'm waiting for the right answer there is no right answer all you have to do is take an action and then revise it if needed you have to look for something start somewhere because the longer you wait the problem is not being solved so you have to take an action then revise it if needed you can't wait for the perfect solution there is no perfect solution so look for one thing and then try it if it does not work choose another method if that does not work choose another method you can't wait for the right decision or the right choice to solve your problems you have to start somewhere accept being uncomfortable whether it's a change that has happened in your life or a certain action that you are not in favor of but must do for instance you've been collecting precious metals for so many years you have plenty of precious metals on the other hand you went bankrupt bankrupt and you have lost all your assets plus you have incurred a lot of debt this is one problem you have debt and you have precious metals these precious metals can solve your problem you can sell them then settle your debt get yourself back up and build yourself back up but if you don't look this is a situation that you're not in favor of because you love these precious metals you don't want to sell them but they can solve your situation so you have to remember that you have to accept the feeling of discomfort because it's about managing difficult times this precious metal can help you manage the situation you're in it can help you solve your debt it can it can help you pay for some of your debt if not all so it's a choice that you have to make of course you love them but you have to get out of this situation you're not in favor of this situation but it's a choice that you should make because we are trying to manage difficult times thus these changes caused by these moments are inevitable however you still need direction set milestones to track your progress this will remind you that you have a goal to achieve each and every day for instance when you have a debt if you set milestones if you set goals for yourself you'll be like in two months time i want to pay it down by twenty thousand in three months time i want to pay it down by fifty thousand in six months time i should have paid it down by a hundred thousand setting goals for yourself will help you get out of the difficult situation sooner than you expect because living through difficult times is also a step closer to a better situation but again it is important to remember that work is needed on your end because this will be the decider of your situation you have to put in the work you know that you're in a difficult time you know that you have a problem you put in the work you work to get yourself out of that situation even if it's getting two jobs you get those two jobs you work you get money you pay off your debts you pay off the hospital bills you do something in order to get yourself out of this situation sitting there without thinking for solu of solutions is not the right choice you have to work in order to get yourself out of that bad situation or the difficult time you're in the final thing i want to leave you all with is a quote that goes like this in order to carry a positive action we must develop here a positive vision wise words from the lie Lama. Let's remember to be positive. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave a comment down below, 
and subscribe to this channel let's grow this channel together one step at a time thank you for watching until the end until next time bye